And welcome back to LanderCore videos. This one comes to us from both uh, Lord Jiraiya and Parker Smith. You asked the question, both of you guys wanted the DBZ characters. And you didn't just say, like, Goku or Vegeta. You meant, like, the Z Fighters as a whole. And, yeah, I'll probably go through most of them and probably a couple extra ones as well. But right now we will focus on the main character, Goku. Uh, so the question is, what Lantern Corp does Goku belong to? Now, for me, there were four big ones that I'll go over. To quickly go over one or two that I think people might essentially, uh, might naturally assume he belongs to, but I don't think he does. I, he does not belong to the Red Lantern Corp. I, the, Land the Red Lantern Corp is the Red Lantern Corp of Rage. You need to have great rage in your heart. You need to basically be in a constant state of anger, or at least just be at least in that moment, just pure anger. Uh, and then had the or ring, um, you know, take... Uh, control you or attach on you and then always be angry and maybe in a couple instances in goku's life he could qualify for a red lantern ring like when he turns into super saiyan for the first time um uh yeah i'm really blanking on other instances of goku real oh like when he like found out that zamasu uh killed chi chi and goten uh, so very few instances, instances Goku could qualify for, but the problem is Goku, when you actually really look at him, he's not an angry individual. Like, he's not like Vegeta. Vegeta, you could make a more solid argument for someone like Vegeta that he could qualify for a Red Lantern ring, because he's so grouchy all the time. He's so just kind of an ass. But Goku's not. Goku's a very fun-loving, easy-going guy. He's a very forgive and forgive, forget and forgive kind of individual. He's even like that way to Frieza, for God's sake. Uh, so, he's, quite frankly, it's just, Red doesn't work with Goku. Now, the one that doesn't work with Goku, in my mind, is Avarice. Now, this one is, I could see an argument for, but it's a very thin argument. Goku can be selfish, but it's not the primary thing that Goku has for him. Goku lives, honestly, a very modest life with his family. He's a radish farmer by, by trade. Um... And he really doesn't want much except to, you know, improve himself and fight strong opponents. That's really the biggest goal, want in his life. And does that lead to some selfish moments? Yes, but it's the selfish moments that are more akin to that of a child. Someone who's just a little, you know, unaware of the consequences of their actions. So by that logic, I can't really say that Goku will qualify for uh, a uh, orange lantern ring by any stretch of the means. But with that said, there are four four Lantern Corps I think that Goku would most qualify for. The first one, and the least, most, least, yeah, most least likely of them, is the uh, Yellow Lantern Ring. Now, Goku definitely can inspire fear. He can. Uh, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is not the color he qualifies for in the, uh, at one, at four times out of ten, or whatever you want to say. 25% uh, of the time. It's basically not his Lantern Corps, what, I was trying to say, what I'm trying to say is. Um... And that's due to the fact that, yes, Goku can scare people. His power, like, just the sheer amount of power. His audacity at points can scare people. Like, when he went up to Zeno and uh, just shook his hand and picked him up. Beasts and we uh, beers were both, ah! Uh, when he, you know, he scared the crap out of a bunch of poachers who, um, you know, were trying to, or uh, bank robbers who were trying to rob, uh, who he stopped and he got shot. And it was more or less bulletproof and just, you know disappeared and took him out when he scared the and a lot of this tends to be in supers um timeline when he uh went super saiyan blue for the first time he basically scared the crap out of all the kais and stuff because like oh my god a mortal has the power of a god and like he, goku can't scare but it's just not in his nature to be scary he's not trying to go out of his way to scare individuals so i can't really say that goku would be a yellow lantern ring but it's entirely possible he could. Uh, but also, the direct opposite of that, Green Lantern. Now, because he's a shown protagonist, Green kind of fits his motif. A lot of willpower, a lot of drive, ability to overcome any obstacle, ability to overcome great fear. Uh, yeah, he's Goku would he could easily qualify for a Green Lantern ring. But I'll be honest, too, on this one. I don't know if this is the one he'd qualify for. I think there are two better options for him. Now, this arguably might be a Naruto scenario where it's he might actually be a rare candidate to qualify for two rings. But I don't think that's the case with Goku. And I'll, I'll explain my ultimate theory of what would happen here after I go through all these and pick the actual corp. So we're down to the final two. And one of those is the Black Lantern rings, which is very easy. To qualify for a Black Lantern ring of death, you either need to be dead, have died, 
or kill and encompass death so much that you are pretty much death personified as a in even though you're alive and well and never died. Uh, and Goku has died several times. So, yes, he could very easily qualify for a Black Lantern ring. The other one is blue. And this is, and for me, it honestly comes out to black for the obvious reason. He's died multiple times. And blue because, really, when you break down, Goku is a symbol of hope for everyone in the Lantern Corps. Lantern Corps. And the, in uh, Dragon Ball Z. Every time there is a big threat and it comes, Goku steps up, he's the one everyone places their hope and faith into him. Sometimes it's rewarded, like with Boo and Jiren. And sometimes it's not, like with Cell. Uh, but that, he is always the one who's... The, the, everyone has always naturally put their faith in him to save the day, to come through and be the winner. Uh, and that's just kind of like the whole shtick with the Shonen protagonist, really. Is that Will and Hope are almost always their key traits. Uh, though there are definitely other corpses they could qualify for, no doubt about it. Uh, but yeah, it's I, I think it's got to be either Hope or it's got to be the Black Lane to Core of Death. So which one is the most likely, in my opinion? Uh, I mean, assuming Goku were to accept a ring, and I'll get to that, that's really what I want to uh, talk about uh, by the end of this video. If Goku were to accept the ring, I think he'd probably go with the blue ring. Like, if these two rings both came at him simultaneously, and he was willing to accept the ring, I think he would, because uh, they both, they both talked to, they're, they're little computers, technically speaking, with power, definitely, and, you know, co ener energy conduits and all that, but they also talked to you, like, you have been, uh, you have shown to have great hope, to inspire great hope. The Blue Lanticore welcomes welcome you, Black Lanticore. Yeah, basically, Goku probably would actually, like, grab these rings right out of the sky and just look at them first. And be like, he's like, uh, what? And then they explain his head and he's like, great, I like hope better than death, so I'm going to take the hope ring. That's the thing, is that this is kind of like a straight down the line kind of scenario. Now, again, there's an argument you could say that he could actually have both a green and a blue ring. He's got enough willpower for a green ring, definitely, and he's got enough... He inspires enough hope, I think. And he even knows when to put the right amount of hope into someone else. Uh, like, he put his faith in Frieza, even. And most of the time, Frieza, you shouldn't put hope in, but, like, they're determined to power. He definitely, you know, put his faith in the right guy at that point. Uh, so, you could definitely make an argument that you could split it down the middle, but I think it's actually more of an argument between these two, and I think Blue would actually be the more likely candidate. He inspires more hope than, I think, anyone else in the series, quite frankly. And... Uh, he's a very just naturally good, go lucky guy, putting his faith in people. And quite frankly, I don't think he'd uh, he'd go for a black ring, um, uh, just because he probably wouldn't want something that involves death. Now that said, there's one little catch twenty two to this entire argument right here, and that means that this goes to any of the corpse, all technically ten of them. Goku wouldn't take a lantern core ring in general. Because of what a Lance Core Ring is. It's borrowed power. It's someone else's power. It's not his own power. Goku made a point in saying in his battle against Beerus that, at least in the Battle of Gods, the movie he did, that it's a power he couldn't reach on his own without other people. And he couldn't and he couldn't stand that. Uh, and, you know, Beerus was, you're a very strange individual, Saiyan. And that's the thing. Goku doesn't want to get stronger through someone else's power. He wants to get stronger on his own, to improve his abilities on his own, to surpass his own limits. And because of that, Goku would not be some... And we'll get to that probably with Piccolo and Vegeta as well. They're not individuals who want... would take a lantern ring. Well, we're not asking if they would take a lantern ring. We're just asking what lantern corp do they think that... do we think they would belong into if by some chance they did take one. And my ultimate answer for Goku is blue. I think Goku is the personification of hope in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, to many degrees. Now, yeah, he does, the, sure, he has his selfish moments. He's got his, um, he cares about his family, but love is not something that, um, I, I doubt he'd qualify for it. Uh, he can get angry, just like anyone can get angry, but it's not the thing that drives him. But to my, in my opinion, the best answer for Goku is Atlantic Core of Hope. But what do you think? Do you think Goku could qualify for any of the other Lantern Corps? I don't include the Lantern Corp of, uh, of the Ultraviolet Lanterns, just because even though they, imply shame is what powers the ultraviolet lanterns there is still no proof as far as i know that it is what they it is what powers it so until an actual answer on that comes about I, i'm not i can't really add the ultraviolets onto this list uh of the lantern corps to go over but ultimately i ask you what do you think where are uh, well what do you think what uh do you think goku qualifies for a blue lantern corps ring or any other other lantern corps rings 
But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a uh, review of it at some point. 90s for who would win. Star, Superior Magic, What If, Atlantic Core videos. Put in the comments below. Let me know. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I got a What If to do tomorrow. Uh, I believe Death Bell airs next week. So, saving that for next week. But until then, I just got Death, uh, What If to do tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time, folks. Later.